Hello, thank you for listening. This is the near-death experience of Sergey, and this experience occurred in 1990 and was documented on May 8th of 2017 with a note that this near-death experience was translated from Russian, open quote. After high school, I went to work in a coal mine in Chukotka, Russia. Chukotka is a province in Russia that is furthest east and north, actually in the Western Hemisphere, located along the Bering Strait. In the coal mine, there was a lot of dust from the rock and a lot of heavy lifting and pulling things around. I worked with mining shovels for six hours a day. After six months, I ended up in the hospital with blood pressure of 185 over 110, and angina, headaches, and spasms in my legs and arms. Four months later, even after strong doses of medicine, there was no improvement in my health, and I could still get up out of bed only with difficulty. I was lying in bed one day. Suddenly, I understood that this was the end for me. It was as if my conscious was moving down a slippery hill and I was unable to grab hold of anything. Then, as if I were in a whirlpool, I was sucked out through the top of my head. There was a click, like finger snapping. Then I found myself in a different space. I was lying down, feeling like I was in my own body and still breathing, but the air was clean, without any type of gas or smog in it. It was like after a rain when breathing is easy and pleasant. Around me there were little white stars like snowflakes in a fairy tale. My surroundings seemed like a room with no visible walls yet definitely an enclosed space. I had a strong sense of being in a welcoming place of peace. On my left there was a woman with brown eyes and a ponytail. Her hair was the same color as her eyes. She was wearing a sweater and a blue leotard with tights. I remembered the color of her leotard because it was such a totally earthly image. She looked at me and said, Look into my eyes. I looked into her eyes and suddenly beams or threads of energy shot from my eyes into hers. As soon as they touched, the scene changed. I shut down and opened my eyes in the hospital bed. No more than a few minutes had passed. I felt such lightness, like a weight had been lifted from me. I also felt that I was now completely healthy and there was no soreness anywhere. My head didn't hurt. I sprang out of bed like a 10 to 14 year old. I went around telling everyone, I suddenly got better and it just took a minute. I had this feeling for the next three days like I wanted to run and be happy. But I started smoking again, out of habit. My health immediately went downhill. The heaviness came back down on me like lead, and the miraculous healing went away. Everything started to hurt again, and there was no more of that lightness. With time, it became a little easier. I became used to the heaviness and tiredness. They put me on disability. Nothing like that ever happened to me again. I don't know what it was. It could have been astral projection, or maybe it was a welcoming department for the next world with someone meeting me at the threshold and turning me back. To me, it means that they know who is going to die and when, and they meet us. It was very interesting, but I know that dying is usually a very unpleasant process. I'd like to find out about everything that happens in that next world. End quote. Ah, oh, Sergey. <laughs> oh, poor guy. Smoking. <sighs> Keeps on you. That would be terrible. Question. At the time of your experience, was there an associated life threatening event? Answer, no. Illness direct head injury after carrying a heavy load, high blood pressure, angina, other loss of consciousness. Mm. Question. Rating your level of consciousness. Answer. I was as free as in a body, but the body was not felt. I was like being weightless in a bathtub of, with water. Question. Comparing your vision. Answer. Here the air gets in the way. 
it was more like being in outer space without the motion of the air, resistance, mirages, and refractions. I could see far, and there is nothing to get in the way of my eyes. It was like my vision was 50% and became 100%. Question, did you seem to enter some other unearthly world? Answer, a place where the air was not constrained or affected by pressure, vibration, or refraction. It was evenly distributed, very easy to breathe, and pleasant. It was like I had always dreamt of such air, no smog or strong smells like ozone after a storm. There were little stars around like snowflakes in a fairy tale. The stars made a clicking sound, but they aren't shooting electricity. They move pleasantly like snowfalls in peaceful weather. I didn't have to strain to see. Everything is very easy and the space is enclosed like a room. The walls were not visible and were blacked out. Yet they were energetic walls and hemispherically shaped. Question, did scenes from the future come to you? Answer, scenes from my personal future. I have dreams, like movie scenes, for example. I'm sailing on a steamship on the ocean. I'm talking with people, walking in shops and along streets. But it's like abstractionism with rough outlines. Then it all goes away. Then it's colored with natural colors, like the sun is yellow, the sky is blue, the steamship, and the people. They're all live. Question, did you reach a boundary or limiting physical structure? Answer, yes. I was detached from a physical body. I distinctly felt that I was floating out through the top of my head. It was the end of life and the realization of myself and the body. But it was as if I were in weightlessness. There was no earthly gravity, only lightness. Question. What importance did you place in your religious slash spiritual life prior to your experience? Answer. Moderately important. Question. What was your religion prior to your experience? Answer. Do not know. Question. Have your religious practices changed since your experience? Answer. Yes. I began to believe in life beyond the grave. Before this, I only believed in terminal existence. Question, what importance do you place on your religious slash spiritual life after your experience? Answer, moderately important. Question, what is your religion now? Answer, Buddhist. Question, did your experience include features consistent with your earthly beliefs? Answer, content was not consistent with my beliefs. I did not see anyone from religious images or illustrations. I saw a regular earthly person who was a woman possessing extrasensory abilities, which we don't have on earth. She had energy rays, and I saw them in myself. I had never seen them there before. Question. Did you have a change in your values and beliefs because of your experience? Answer. Yes. I began studying religions, not only according to the stories of others, but by comparing them with my own experiences. I don't open my mouth in surprise at any other at others' wild tales, and before I would have probably had envied those lucky people or would have thought of them as extraterrestrials. Question, did you seem to encounter a mystical being or presence or hear an unidentifiable voice? Answer, near me and on the left sat a woman, like a person from Earth, with brown eyes and auburn hair. It was pulled back in a ponytail, hanging down to her shoulders. She wore a gray sweater, a pair of blue athletic leotards. She was a regular earth person, appeared to be 30 to 40 years old. There were no angels or saints. Even so, I was surprised. I guess I was in heaven. Question. During your experience, did you gain information about universal connection or oneness? Answer, yes. The woman was completely earthly in appearance, but when she said to me, look into my eyes, beams from my eyes suddenly shot into her eyes. They were like dark gray threads. As soon as they touched, I immediately severed the connection, tuned out, and came back to myself. Question, do you believe in an afterlife after your experience? Answer, an afterlife definitely exists. Yes, I had a feeling of loss of physical existence. I was floating away to somewhere, and at first felt fear for two to three seconds. I heard clicking noises like the sound of turning on lights and then was in a different dimension. I was upstairs as if in a new place. Then there was a lapse and then I'm back in my body again. 
Question, what life changes occurred in your life after the experience? Answer, slight changes in my life. I began to understand what was beyond the border, why they don't let us through, yet they can know everything about us, that we are here for a certain reason, but we can be everything. There, they are not aggressive, but they won't take you before it's time. I must go on my. I got. I must go my own way. They won't let me know more than I need. It is like I am a first grader, and they are like tenth graders. Hmm. Question: Have your relationships changed specifically because of your experience? Answer: Yes. I spend less time on trivial things and more on useful information. Question, how accurately do you remember the event in comparison to other events that happened around the same time? Answer, more accurately. This recollection comes up clearly. For example, a cross-country skiing event where you remember everything to the tiniest detail or a ride out somewhere where there's an unusual landscape, tall trees or a beautiful lake on the background of mountains which are unusual and can be remembered strongly. Question, do you have any psychic, non-ordinary, or other special gifts after your experience that you did not have before the experience? Answer, yes. Understanding of the situation. There's no primal fear of death, as if maybe it's interesting there. Question, are there one or several parts of your experience that are especially meaningful or significant to you? Answer, it can give hope to others that everything is survivable, even your own death. Question, have you ever shared this experience with others? Answer, yes, I shared it immediately, and then many times since that time, the response was silence, like it was something really unexplainable. Question, what do you believe about the reality of your experience shortly after it happened? Answer, experience was definitely real. It was interaction, just as real as if you were sitting with a friend in a cafe and drinking coffee with cakes. Later on, there were no more signs. I became just as normal as I had been previously. Well, possibly with the difference from thinking about all that that had happened. Question. What do you believe about the reality of your experience now? Answer. The experience was definitely real because before you could only believe and now you know for sure. Question. At any time in your life has anything ever reproduced any part of the experience? Answer. Maybe something will happen again. There's no guarantee it won't. Uncertain. <laughs> end quote in question on Sergey. I wonder <laughs> these people who know when we're going to die, know everything about us, but don't tell us. I don't know. It's possible. I've thought that myself with some of these stories. I appreciate you sharing that with us. And thank you for listening. I hope you have a great day.